What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So I am back. Uh, my kids start school next week. So I'm gonna start doing videos again. So you're gonna start seeing more and more videos coming during the week. But anyway, I wanna, I wanna kinda kick it off here with another training video. So uh, there was actually, I got into a little bit of a discussion about someone who was talking about my sling stop for slide stop in the Vickers method video. And he was talking about how, well, why are you doing it this way when you should use your support hand for the mag release and stuff like that because it keeps the gun on target. And I want to address that because I've seen this and I see it preached and preached and preached about always having the gun pointed down range every single time, even when it's unloaded. I see this thing preached and preached and preached all the time and I'm going to address that real quick and give you why that's not exactly the thing that you want to be doing at all periods of time. So it's like this. So the gun I'll be using right here, my Glock 19. All right, it's been cleared. There's actually an empty magazine in here. All right, so empty mag and there and I have a backup magazine right here. Uh, another one empty and I also have my 1911 set up with an empty magazine because I wanted to uh, demonstrate this technique real quick. So basically what the technique says is that when you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting nonstop, and then it goes click. You're out of ammunition. So what the technique says is what the people say, you want to keep this gun pointed at the target at all times, regardless of the situation. So at all times, it doesn't matter if you have small fingers, small thumbs, small hands, and you have to script your hands. It doesn't matter because according to these experts, at every single given time, the gun has to be pointed down here. And the proper way to do it in a method like this so you don't remove it is you take your support hand, remove the magazine, then you swap over and put your new magazine in and then you rack it back and send the slide forward. That's the technique that's preached. This is wrong and it's dumb. All right, this is wrong and it's dumb. And I'm gonna demonstrate exactly why that is. So it's like this. So once again, these are unloaded. If not everyone's hands are the same size, all right? Not everyone's hands are the same size. I see this as an instructor. People come, they can hold. This gun is what most people qualify on right here. They can hold this gun good, some people can't hold it very good. And me in general, I have longer fingers than your average pizza. I have slightly larger hands than your average person. But even the way how my hands are set up, I sometimes need to shift my hands on the gun to keep it in the fight. Now, the reason this method is a bad method is if you're shooting and you run out of ammunition, it goes click and the slide is back, locked back to the rear. Taking this hand, bringing it up here and releasing the magazine is a wasted step. This hand should already be going for your backup ammunition, all right? This hand should already be going for the magazine. So you're out there, this one's going like this, and guess what, I turn it and I shift it and bring it up and bring it into the fight. However you wanna bring it into fight, whether you do that or you do the slingshot or, or the slide stop method. That's how you do this. Now, the reason you're doing it that way is, let me see if my magazine released here. The reason you're doing that way is because this hand's already working. It's busy. It's grabbing that ammunition. Now let's try it again this way. So if I do it this method and I'm running out of ammunition, so instead of reaching for the ammunition at the same time I'm reaching for the ammunition and I'm unloading this pistol and getting my another ammunition, now I have to, boom, I have to push it like this, okay? So you have to remove it just like that. And then you take it. So now I have an unloaded gun pointed down range. What's, what good is this in gunfight? What good's an unloaded gun that's locked back to the rear in a gunfight if it's pointed down range? Does it matter if it's pointed down range at the time, or does it matter that I'm getting it back into the fight quickly? Which one is more important? Pointing it down range when it's completely empty with a finger on and with a finger will be off the trigger, hopefully, but completely empty and taking a longer time to get it back into the fight or getting the damn gun back in the fight pretty quickly. Now the same thing goes for a 1911. So we'll do it like this. 1911 has been cleared okay 1911 same thing goes with this okay so you have the magazine right here so and this people have a harder time reaching the button because it's a little bit longer draw me it's perfect it works just fine for me simply a little harder time using it and a lot in an older method for actually sending a slide forward is putting your thumb right here all right and using this thumb after you load the ammunition which is the vickers method you load the ammunition when your hands here you push the slide stop and it sends this and sends the slide forward now we'll do the same thing that i was talking about in the other one do the same exact thing so you're empty Great, you're empty. So what good is having an empty gun pointed down range right now? What good is it? I mean, it's not in the fight. It's not gonna go bang. You can't defend yourself with an empty gun with a slide lock back to the rear. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna sit here and waste an extra step and remove the magazine this way? All right, are you gonna remove the magazine that way? 
or are you going to do it the proper way, which is down there, you got ammunition, you unload it, go to the next mag, and get the gun back into the fight quickly. Which one do you think is a better method? The take your time, keep with an unloaded gun down range, or simply swapping it to adjust it to your hands, whether you have small fingers, small hands, whatever it is, and getting it back into the fight in a good steady pace. Okay, get it back in the fight a little bit quicker. All right, because this is a wasted method. Pushing the button right down here, when this hand should at all times be, if you're empty, all right, if you're, you're empty, this hand should be moving to your magazine. That's why the controls are here, so you can set it, and it's simply switching it like this, that magazine comes out, and then while you're grabbing that, you push it like this, grab the magazine, and put it back into the fight, whether you want to do the Vickers method, whether you want to do the standard method, you want to do the slingshot method. You want to keep you want the gun to work properly. You want it to work when you need it to work. So once again, people are asking me, why, do we, why, why don't you just use that technique? So this is the last time I'm gonna demonstrate it and this is why. So once again, unloaded, all right? And once again, completely unloaded. You got ammunition, boom, push the button, come back to it, boom, get it back into the fight. And then send it forward, however you wanna send it forward, whether you do slide stop, rack it back to the rear, whatever it is, put it in the fight. It is a wasted time. It's a wasted time. It's just waste time. That's all it really does. It honestly wastes time. That's all it really does. When if I'm simply unloaded like this in the same process, by simply twisting it like this, and this hand's busy getting the next magazine, I'm already back up into the fight. And you could use the slide stop method like this. You could use the rack method, whatever method works best for you. So that's why, like I said, whoever, I don't remember who the viewer was, that's why I don't recommend you use the support hand. So stop using your support hand to remove the magazine. Even if you have small hands, if you have small hands, swap that gun, move that gun to where you can get to it. As long as you're in your workspace, this is your workspace, this is in front of your body with your eyes down range. So move the gun until you get the magazine out. This step right there is a wasted step and it takes time, all right? It takes time and when seconds count, well, split seconds counts, and only seconds matter. All right, so when you're in there, like I said, you move, move it the standard way. Magazine, go already going for another one. Don't do the, oh, I'm going to do this with another step, then bring it back up. Don't, all right? That's why it's not teached, all right? And some people say, well, yeah, smaller hands, it's a little bit easier. Move the gun in your hand. Now, another thing that you could do too, slight modifications, all right? If you have a hard time reaching that mag release button, get an extended mag release button, right? Not, not crazy, but get an extended mag release button. Right, if you like using the slide stop method, whether whatever it is front, get a slide stop that fits your hand a little bit better, that can get it reach you better. But when it comes down to it, guys, it doesn't. This hand, after you're out of ammunition, your support hand should be busy. It should be getting your extra ammunition and getting ready to load it into the gun. That's what it should be doing. Now, if there's a tactical reload and there's a round in the chamber, and you know that magazine's empty. That's a different. That's that's a different time or a different video for another time. That's a completely different method. But at the same time. You don't want, you know, I'll do an entire video of that on a different time. I'm not going to get into it now because, like I said, that is an entire video all to itself. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. And remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.